Uh, let's see. There they are getting a little bit closer, getting a little bit closer, slowly but surely, lowering slowly but surely. Uh, hopefully they'll be able to make contact with this victim very close here as a tense rescue continues in Boyle Heights here near, near the Washington Boulevard overpass, just south of the Washington Boulevard overpass and the L.A. River. Uh, this is this is what happens when we see rain, uh, when we see runoff. We see this L.A. River just continue to swell and uh, L.A. City fire practices for this all the time because this is something that we see all the time and this is the real life uh, just view of of what they train for, and hopefully this rescue worker is gonna make contact with this victim in very short order here. If that victim can hold on, and if that rescue worker can uh, direct the chopper pilot uh, into where he needs to go. Yeah, um, how grateful are we, uh, or is this person, all of us watching, every time I see this, it's just unbelievable how skilled they are at, at doing this, and uh, the fact that they put their own lives in danger to to rescue people like this, as they should. They're trained for this and they do it so often, but it's always um, really great to, to see them Rally. put themselves out there it's like this. It's just incredible. They're putting that training to great use. And there you go, that rescue worker uh, battling some of the downwash from the helicopter and some of those uh, swift currents from the water it, uh, itself. It looks like he's trying to get the- The rope the, uh, that's around him. Yeah, he's trying to get a device around the victim. He's trying to get the crews in the helicopter to lower him just a little bit more. It looks like he's going to be able to do that uh, and then hopefully attach himself to the victim right now. He has a device that he's going to be able to hook around the chest of the victim. And there they go. It looks like they've made contact. And now they're going to be uh -oh. able to uh, be hoisted up a little bit. Hopefully they can do that before they lose their footing there. Not that they had any footing to begin with. And that victim's going to need to be able to let go of the other uh, cable he was attached to. Hopefully he can there do that. There he goes. That yep. other cable falls. And now the rescuer and the rescuee are free and being hoisted up into an L.A. City fire helicopter. Copter 2, I believe. Uh, this victim is out of the water, but the danger is not over yet. He just has to get into that helicopter. Looks like it was Copter 5. Excuse me. Copter 2 is also working this scene here positioned down river just in case anything happens and they're going to be in this helicopter in short order and hopefully this victim uh will be treated and uh in a little warmer conditions in short order uh yes how skilled are these firefighters i mean this is really impressive um again always impressive to watch and um very fortunate that they were able to uh, you know lower themselves down and uh, lift uh, this man up, it's uh, its pretty great. Yeah, I'm sure he's feeling so relieved right I, now and just breathing a sigh of relief after Absolutely. those. Absolutely. A tense 30 plus minutes for him, 35 minutes for this gentleman. Yeah. yeah. Very right. incredible. Uh, the rescue has completed and they have two options here. They can either uh, land and transport the victim or they're gonna transport the victim to uh, LA County USC Hospital for further inspection and hopefully uh, the, uh, the, the, the victim wasn't too injured, just a little cold and maybe in need of a little observation. Yeah. Uh, but we'll continue to keep an eye on this and bring you an update in later.